Hello! Spring has arrived and in this part of the world it means the end of the regular season of professional hockey. And many teams did not make the playoff like mine, well not mine as I own it but the one I support. And many fans are asking, well, what can be done? Uh, can we find a player that will make us win the championship next year? Uh, and, and basically they're looking for some kind of savior. And sometimes they will find those teams will find players, maybe a rookie player or more seasoned player. And they put all their aspiration and all their hopes in this player. And when this player did not, cannot fulfill all the hopes, because let's face it, it's just a human being, well, people will start to critic and, and maybe hate the person and call him a loser, a waste of money, a waste of time, and they will begin to look for a next savior. And I'm speaking of hockey, but I believe it's part of our human nature. Too often we we'll look for quick and simple solutions to our problems. We prefer to believe that a simple pill will solve all our health problems rather than eating healthy and exercise regularly. We often elect politicians promising to solve all our complex problems with the simplest policies or a tweet. I'm talking about this because next Sunday is Palm Sunday. It's the story of the triumphant entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. And the text tells us that there was a large crowd present that day. And, and the people were very enthusiastic. They were ready to follow Jesus everywhere. He was their guy. He was the one who was solving, solving all. He, would, he was the one coming in the name of the Lord. And according to scripture, that display of eye emotion lasted a few days, a week, and we know the rest of the story. Jesus got arrested, he died, and many of us, probably as the disciple, wondering what happened? How can they turn on him so rapidly? Well, Jesus, according once again to scripture, was a great miracle worker. His message was fairly simple, if we may, but it was not necessarily easy. Yes, love one another, forgive, take care of the vulnerable. We all agree on it. But Jesus says, I'm not going to do it for you. You have to do it. You have to put the effort. And maybe that's why the crowd kind of left Jesus. Because it was not as easy that maybe they thought. It made me think of a, a cartoon. Maybe you saw it. It was a speaker in front of a crowd and said, Who won't change? And everyone said, Me, me, me. Who's going to do that change and implement that change? <whistles> That's often our reaction. We want the Savior. We want the easy solution. Too often we don't want to put the work and maybe that's why Palm Sunday come back every year in a calendar. To remind us that Jesus was not the kind of Savior that will change everything by just snapping the fingers. And that will do it for us. No. After the initial, excite, excite, ex, initial emotional reaction, we need to put the effort. We need to work on it. We need to take our own responsibility to, to change and improve this world. That's how things change. It's the message 
of maybe one man, but the work of all of us. Once again, thank you for watching. I remain the lectionary man, Reverend Stefan Dermet, and until next time, take care of yourself, and bye-bye.